This Concord shit is crazy. Can you believe it? I'm outside. Sony buys a studio who's making a game. They've been making it for years at that point. By the end of it, they had spent eight years on it. The game comes out. They charge, you know, it's a full price, but they charge a lot of money for it. No one buys it. And then they just, two weeks later, after release, just go, you know what? We understand. You don't want it. We, we, we get it. And just, just cancel, just can't cancel it after release. They, uh, they released it and then canceled it, which is usually backwards. That's usually the backwards way you cancel a game. And it's good that they're giving people refunds. Like, uh, that's very good. <laughs> That would be even more insane if they were like, here's a game, play it for two weeks, and then that's it. We'll keep you money. But now the question is, like, where do they go from here? Are they going to now just completely change the game and, and make it free to play and, and add microtransactions and stuff? Or is that it? Is it completely done and then they close the studio? It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the game and the studio. I, I look forward to, to finding out what the fuck goes on there. And I just had to make a video about it, you know? I had to talk about this. It's crazy. And I got this new camera and, you know, I want to try it out. And Maybe this new camera will make me make more videos. Who knows? We'll see. Then you've got the Rocksteady news too. Rocksteady have laid off a bunch of staff. The studio is not fully closed, which is nice. But they laid off a bunch of people, and, uh, you know, it's a tough time to be a game developer, mainly because publishers want to put out, like, you know, live service games, and, you know, ch charge people crazy money for the stuff, and people are kind of sick of it, and it's great. It's going to be even better this week when... Astrobot comes out and sells crazy. It's going to sell. That game's going to do so well. Even if it gets just kind of whatever reviews, it's going to sell really well. And it's going to be a great example of like what at least, you know, PlayStation players want. Will it make Sony rethink their current live service strategy? I don't know. I hope so. I can't really uh, add any commentary to this, if I was a fly on the wall in the Sony offices right now, I would love to just know what, what's going on with that whole thing right now. But I'm not. And so instead I have to guess. And if I had to guess, I would say that th that game is done. And Firewalk will close. You know, I can you really, can you really blame the developers? I don't know if you can even blame the devs for this. And I don't think you can blame Sony either, really. Like, obviously Sony is going to chase whatever's popular and whatever's making money. But they've spent so long getting to this point where, where they can release these games that the trend has come and gone and people are now over live service games. And... They've, they've just, they're, they're releasing at the wrong time now. There's only so many people that can download a game and get into it and play it. And they're not going to play multiple live service games, usually, typically. Uh, oh, hello. I'm not, I'm talking to the camera, not you. Hi. You want to say hello? Oh, good job. You can only play one live service game at a time, really. You know, you're investing so much money into buying skins and whatever that, like, are you going to really spend money on Fortnite and also uh, Call of Duty Warzone and Concord? No. So it's just a bad time. They've released these this game at a bad time, and 
it's bad for the future of the rest of their live service games. Helldivers 2 was an anomaly, but it's also, you know, PvE. It's a different thing. It wasn't just a first person shooter where you do objectives. I look forward to finding out what this is all about. Obviously it would be better if they just put it, put, put it out free to play, but then would people even play it, even then? Like, it's so tainted now, would people even bother? Oh, the game that released for money and then you pulled two weeks later because no one was playing it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely play it now. Which is a shame for that studio, because they spent eight years making one game just to have it out for two weeks and then close. Maybe they, maybe they move all those people over to a different studio, who knows? That would be, that would be good. For now, we have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. Um, I'm going to try and do more of this stuff. It's crazy. Bye.